Lawrence Covington, everybody. Come on, let him hear it. How y'all doing? We ain't worried about matching today. We ain't worried about matching today. That's, we ain't worried about matching today, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. I heard, I heard him shopping. Who's David? I heard him shopping somebody up, man. Dang, okay, okay. Y'all watch, watch sports? Niggas, let me tell you. Um, I'm glad they traded Jeremy Lin a couple of years ago. Yeah, 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 nah. It, it, I'm tell you why, because I would go to the playground and the Asian dudes was way too confident on the court. Way too confident. And this Asian dude hit a game with him on me. And, and they, you know, when you do the Zen and the Tai Chi and all that, you learn how to talk trash in a way that touches your soul. You, you understand what I'm saying? Touch your soul. And, and, and he hit the game winner, and I was like, luck. And he said, and as he held his hand in the air with the game winner shot, he said, I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. So when he was gone, you know, there's less guys on the court now. But um, the athletes are crazy. They get a lot of money. They get a lot of money. And I was trying to figure out why they get so much money for playing sports. Because, you know, that's a lot of money. And I figured it out. I was like, look, they get a lot of money because of the interview before and after the game, right? If you work for your regular job, if you worked at McDonald's or something, Burger King, right? And they interview you before your shift. You know, you'd be like, yeah. But what would you do? You'd be sitting down there, you'd be like, hey, how you feel about your shift today? You'd be like, well, you know, I just want the lettuce to be crisp. You know, the buns to be toasted. And you know when the when the when the lunch hour rush comes, we're gonna be ready. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know when it's over, it's just like you know we didn't expect. You know the crowd wasn't as thick as it was supposed to be. You know they went to McDonald's and we weren't ready for McDonald's. You know and um, <sighs> when they brought out that Big Mac with that special sauce and that that sesame seed bun, <sighs> we 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 weren't we weren't ready. <laughs> So it's, it's for the interview, man. It's for the interview. But I, I like the crowd. It's a mixed crowd, all the people. And uh, I always hang out with my grandparents. And I find out that my grandfather is not what I thought he was. My grandmother told me when she met him, he used to steal a lot. So, you know, what? So I'm like, Granddad, what's up, man? Granddad, grandma, grandma told me you used to steal a lot. He's like, nah, I ain't steal a lot. I only stole things that began with the letter A. <laughs> And I said, well, what begins with the letter A? And he was like, a car, a watch, a stereo. <laughs> His little wicked laugh, man. You know. Then I found out he was a pervert. He would, he would say things, but I didn't, I didn't recognize what he was saying until I got older. Right? <laughs> got older. And I mean, when I was young, he would tell me. He would say, he would say you know, you're a smart kid. So I tell you what, you and I are gonna go into business together. You understand? You and I are gonna open up a whole house. <laughs> but we get enough, yes, a whole house. <laughs> but until we get enough money to get the girls, we're gonna have to run it by hand. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so he's a perv. Um, <laughs> but you know, my grandmother, she, Bucket list. Anybody got a bucket list here? What? You're too young for the bucket list. Uh, that's you're too young. You ain't on Social Security. But um, she has a, a bucket list, and I just think that's so morbid. Yo, a bucket list? Uh, things I gotta do before I die. I so I came up with my own. I, I got a cupboard list. I call it a cupboard list, right? Yeah. I things that I don't want to happen while I'm alive. You did. Uh, I got a whole list, but I'm gonna give you the top three. The first one is I do not want to get recorded getting beat up. <laughs> you know, I, I come from a day when people, used, if you was in a fight in the street, people used to help you and break up the fight. Now, if you get to a fight, people put up their camera and they're like, "World star!" Oh, it's pretty bad. Man. My my second thing on my on my um cover list is, I, I, I don't want to get my organs stolen. <laughs> this is big business, man. I don't know if y'all know. They stealing organs like a mug out here. 
You go to a party, you wake up in a bathtub with some ice, with a note. <laughs> I mess with that right there. I'm trying, I'm trying to get out of here with all my stuff, man. <laughs> I even took organ donor of my, my driver's license, man. So you want an organ, you got to know me. Um, and the last thing, this is one of the most critical things here. I can't, I'm, I'm trying to get off this planet without having a, a, a bad sex tape come out. Or a sex tape period. You know, I want my stuff to be a secret. But, um, <laughs> I got them Tai Chi techniques. But um, I, I, one of my childhood heroes was Hulk Hogan. Y'all know this Hulk Hogan? Hulkamaniacs in here? Three things you gotta do, train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, Hulkamaniac. So I found out Hulk Hogan had a sex tape out. So yeah, but naturally he's my childhood hero. I wouldn't mind seeing the host that taps some ass. You know what I mean? I was, he's my childhood hero, man. So, um, but when I saw the sex tape, it was so, it was so embarrassing. It was like nothing I expected. He, he like came quick, and he was apologizing. He was like, I'm sorry. I had a ham sandwich earlier, and I just feel like a pig. You're not supposed to apologize when you come quick. Right, you apologize when you come quick? <laughs> the, the face of a man who never comes quick, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> all I do, like if I come quick, all I do is make the face like I got cold with my hand in the cookie jar. Say, oh, you can't quick again. I'm just like, so that's my top, ladies and gentlemen. Lawrence Covington, everybody. Give it up for Lawrence.